and this is PopCap Games in San Aquarium. Let's see, we're on tank four, three. So who do I want? Do I want Brinkley? Sure, let's take Brinkley. Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, Rufus for sure. And we'll go with Gumbo. Why not? Oh, I remember I was going to take Blip. Oh well, don't really need Blip. Wait, do I only start out with one breeder this time? Wow, that's harsh. I lose this one fish, and it's all over. You know, this might be a good time to show off the failure screen. Just kidding, guys. Yeah. Alright. So, the next video on Monday, and possibly also the Insane Aquarium on Tuesday, might not happen. Because we got big moves to do, moving to dorms, getting ready for college classes. So, we're going to have a bit of a busy schedule and may not be able to record or upload a video. But don't worry, it's not going away permanently. Alright, Brinkley's keeping us in money. Mostly. And we got a type G? The glutton one? <laughs> what is Glutton doing here? Glutton, you're not supposed to be here. I forgot that you showed up. In the there we go. On the bright side, we're not dealing with those... With the bilaterals or whatever the other ones are that I have to deal with here. Type P. Or any of the other really bad ones. Aha. A diamond. Alright, are you guys going to grow up anytime soon? I really kind of wish I had brought... Uh, blip. As it is, this is going to take forever. Even more so than usual. So I was watching one of X's videos, his most recent one of the, as of this recording, his Minecraft one. And he talked a little bit about length of videos on YouTube. And that 20 minutes is basically the hard cap, and never go over 30. So, I might actually start sticking to that. I don't know, I kind of notice, I notice these things from my side of the videos. I don't think you can see them from your side. But as a YouTube partner, I have access to certain information, just like Vex does. And people don't often watch... Oh my goodness, it's two at once. And it's Type P as well. Great, great. I have to deal with regeneration and the... Whatever the line is. Okay, I need to upgrade the food and upgrade the amount of food. Persist. And I, uh, I was out of money there for a second and could not get more food. That's always, I think, the scariest thing here. Even more scary than just having one fish. Alright, I've got to get a carnivore ASAP, or I'm not going to be able to deal with all the guppies. It's like a really slow guppy spin. Alright. By the way, you may have noticed that my cursor movements aren't as fast or sure as usual. And if you didn't notice that, well, notice it now. Because I'm playing with a touchpad right now, my mouse that I normally use is packed up. So I gotta deal with the touchpad on my laptop. Ah, there we go, carnivore. Get eaten, boy. That, that, I guess, depending on how you 
heard that could go for both the Guppies and Oak. What is Gerald doing back here? Could go for the Guppies and the Carnivore, depending on if you heard that as E10 or E10. With the ING or the GA. Okay, let's get another breeder and get this thing going faster. Because I am not attempting this with Guppies only. That will be for the second almost mini series. Yeah, that's almost for sure now that I'm going through the second time with just Guppies. Because we all know that it can be done, especially once I get Blip in the tank on every single one. Alright, you're big enough now that I can get a second carnivore. We just gotta keep you all fed. And maybe we'll end up with some King Guppies before the time this video is out. By which I mean over, not published. You get what I mean. Uh, ooh. Yeah, multiple lines. And without blip, I can't tell where they're coming from. It's harder to do the, the multiple finger really fast quicker. Like this, because... Unfortunately, I have to use one finger to keep the cursor moving. And the other fingers on the button. Alright. I'm almost to where I could get an Ultravore and stop worrying about the Guppies. Excuse me, did I say that out loud? I'm sorry, Guppies. Alright, let's see. I can probably get another carnivore. I'm going to keep these guys from growing up more of them. Then just a little bit more and we can get ourselves an Ultravore. There we go. Ultravore acquired. We shall now no longer have any problems with money. Now what I want to do is upgrade my laser gun as quickly as possible. And of course gather as many things as possible. Oh my goodness, look at how much the eggs cost. Eggs cost a whopping 50,000. That's one way to get a third. Oh, but I forgot to live, so I can't tell when this guy's hungry or really. Die. Yeah, you're the reason the majority of my fish are on the side. And Gumbo? Just wow, man. Wow. You let him straight through. Almost enough to make one believe you're in league with the aliens. Aha, timed that one correctly. Let's go ahead and get a breeder up so I can sustain at least one carnivore at a time. Ooh, a pearl! Beautiful pearls. Let's see if we can get another ultra bowl real quick. Probably our best bet. Because currently if I lose this one, then I've got to start from the bottom all over again. Yeah, just drop right into his maw. The gaping maw of the Ultra. Okay, boys. We've got the breeder up and running now. Go ahead and start maintaining at least one carnivore. Hmm. Let's go. Oh, it's just type G. 
Type G is No, don't shoot it. He ate the Ultravore. He ate an Ultravore. Uh, I gotta get another one. At least I went ahead and bought another one instead of upgrading my cannon. That would have been a really bad investment to go for the laser cannon instead of the Ultra Four. At least double the length of the video. No, I'm kidding. I just have to give you a cliffhanger. Again! I'm also having to deal with not having two separate monitors. So I have to check my watch to see how much time has gone by. It's dark in here. So I can't actually tell how much time has gone by. So you may get a video of indeterminate length. And I will not apologize. Here we go, another ultra boy. Just in time for him to get eaten. Ain't that always the way. No! No, 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 no. Both of you stay away from my ultra boys. Good, stay alive. And oh yeah, all of my guppies are now. You're just the greatest, aren't you? Let's go ahead and get you two grown up. I probably just lost all the money I put into these carnivores. No, oh, no, they both got eaten. That's good. Let's go ahead and get another Ultra War. Yeah, we're back up where we were already. This isn't so bad. Except that now we're relying almost completely on Ultra Force. We gotta make sure to keep them fed. I really don't need the breeders anymore, do I? I mean, it's nice for keeping carnivores alive, I suppose. But... Do I really need them? I mean, it's like we're back at tank one again. Except the guppies are carnivores. Huh. Oh dear. Yeah, you guys just stay out of the way. Okay, now while well, that works. Yeah, no, I don't care if you reach it. I want you away from the ultra force. You should be able to take you out even faster than that. But you still want to be an ultra boar. Multiple aliens is the worst. Worse than any individual alien. Even the bilaterals. Having to do it with a touchpad. I cannot tell you how much I dislike touchpads. They are they're really bad. I, I would almost prefer those little little nub things, little blue nubs that they used to put in the middle of laptop keyboards. There you go. Get fed. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that rapid fire because my rapid fire isn't working so well on this touchpad. Ah, there's the episode title, Touchpad Blues. We'll call it that. I mean, that fits as much as anything else. Right? Sure, let's just get more Ultra Boards. I'm pretty sure that if this fellow eats this fellow, wow. If Gerald 
or gluttony. Eats just one Ultra Ball, he instantly dies. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little bit of stuff in the back of my throat. Alright, slowly but surely getting up there. There we go, first egg piece. Let's get the carnivores in there so that none of our ultravores die. And then let's just get some more ultravores because why not? I've lost track of how many. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then collect all the treasure. That ah, shiny. All oh, the sparkly gems. I wonder where all of this loot is coming from. I mean, with the Ultra War, you would almost think that maybe they've been eating ships before I domesticated them. You stay away from the Ultra War. I know it'll kill you instantly, but I still kind of prefer to keep them alive. Alright, we're almost to getting that final eggshell. There we go! Let's see who it is. Is it Angie? Is it Angie? Is it Gash? Yes, it's Gash the Shark. Not that he's useful or anything, but I guessed it. Alright. Viciously attacks aliens, but we'll snack on guppies. At this point, on uh, tank 4-4, I think, is next. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Alright, just two more. Two more tanks. And the boss battle. And then we'll be done. So that's what? Three, maybe four episodes? Not counting doing the guppy thing occasionally. Alright. Let's go to the virtual tank. Ooh. This is perfect. This is, I can show you just what I found out. I can use Zap to turn all of the feed guppies into new shells. That's a Sylvester. Speaking of Sylvesters, yeah, I did look up the name. Speaking of Sylvester's, we now have one! This little fellow. He's an alien. He likes pina coladas, food fights, and wine collecting. And guess what? He needs a name. And he eats carnivores, but that's... That doesn't really matter. Let's see. That reminds me, I need to give one of these fellows a name. Because unfortunately, no one has suggested any names. So, who should I name? Hmm, and make it so that you all can't name him. Hmm, the Sylvester is tempting, but you weren't. I didn't give you a fair chance to name him. Eh, how about this red and yellow fellow? Hmm, what would I name him? What could I name a red and yellow fellow? Fish. Let's see, he's kind of like a reversed version of the normal guppy. And that reminds me of a book by someone... I gotta remember the name of the person. Hmm, what was that author's name? The book was The Boy Who Reversed Himself. But what was the name of that author? Oh, I remember now. Yes, 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 yes. It was uh, William Sleater? Yeah, Sleater. William Sleater. Spelled S-L-E-A-T-O-R. Also wrote The Parasite Pig and... Well, Parasite Pig is the second book. The first book is... Uh, Interstellar Pig. They're really good. I suggest you check them out. Alright, so this one's now named Sleater, after the boy who reversed himself soft. So just take that, guys. And remember, if you don't name them, I'll name them. Oh, that was a bad sound. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.